In this video, I build an AI agent that can score goals and play one-on-one -on -one soccer using Unity's machine learning agents package. Starting with an AI agent that can score a goal in increasingly difficult scenarios and building my way up to an agent versus agent scene. I hope you like this video. Please stick around until the end to laugh at my struggles along the way and then share in on the joy of seeing the final version of the soccer agents battling it out at the end. I wanted to get my hands dirty with AI for a long time, since it has been all the craze recently. Since my skill set is quite narrow, you can imagine how happy I was when I came across this package. Since I'm not a nerd, instead of reading the machine learning theory behind how these agents work, I just watched CodeMonkey's video at double x speed, and then I got to cooking. I thought I'd start simple, truly in every meaning of the word, with a shitty default material unity capsule, having zero understanding of how these agents work, and to top it all off with an AI agent that can't even score goals. So I dumbed it down even further, literally the most simple case I could think of, where there's a fixed agent, and a fixed ball, and a fixed goal to score on. The agents got the hang of that fast, but that's not really interesting. At the end of the day, all they had to figure out was to repeat the same exact movement to get rewarded. Which means that these agents achieved a harder task than most office workers. Hey yo! For the next step, I started randomizing the ball's position horizontally. Here's a trained agent displaying their shooting skills. Then I also randomized the agent's horizontal position. Oh wait, 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 wait. okay, so like, when does this video actually get interesting? Well, what if the player is ahead of the ball, which means that the agent must successfully go around the ball before shooting, without touching the ball, and then shoot with accuracy? Since the agent is penalized for missing the shot, these agents actually just opted to not do anything and just buzz around in the field. Apparently this is a thing. Who would have thought that software does what you tell it to do? This meant my reward structure was so out of whack that it was basically more logical for these agents to do nothing. I tried a lot of different rewarding structures, like measuring their position relative to the ball and the goal when they strike, so they only hit the ball when they're behind it, but that just didn't feel right. It felt way too controlling and restrictive, like an overly controlling parent. So I went back to the basics. What am I trying to achieve here? I want them to shoot the ball and I want them to score a goal. And this rewarding structure actually worked. I know I'm flying through the events here, but you wouldn't believe how many hours I spent on getting this right. As another challenge, I made the player fixed in the center, but have the ball roll in from the left or the right with random speed. Which wasn't that challenging or funny to be honest, but I just thought it looked neat. Now it's time to move on to the one-on-one -on -one PvP scene. It took me more than 30 iterations to get this to work, which I would argue it doesn't really work, but here is how the PvP soccer scene evolved. The issue was that they weren't really doing anything, so I changed the reward structure such that hitting the ball gave some points, but also if they didn't touch the ball for a certain amount of time, the run would just reset and they would get punished. So after training them for 1.24 million steps, this is the artificial intelligence at display. Ok, back to the drawing board. I decided to make the field smaller, remove the unnecessary observations from the machine learning agents, since nobody is flying, they really don't need to track the y coordinate of anything, and most importantly, I fixed the damn confetti, since it should spawn at the other field when a goal happens, since the other side is scoring. Even with the new set of changes, they weren't really playing with the ball. I tried rewarding them more for hitting the ball and scoring. Because of these increased rewards, they just started going to the corner and constantly hitting the ball on repeat, which skyrocketed their reward structure, which really shows you how bad it is. Also I realized, since they both have the same brain, they just mirror each other's movements, which means they contradict what they should be doing. Like in here, it makes sense for the purple to walk down to the field, but not for the yellow player since they are just running into the wall. So my million IQ plan was to literally make the other side mirror the movement. That way I thought, both sides would train towards the same types of movements, like moving towards the center. Even with all these changes, the agents weren't actually performing as well as I wanted them to. So at this stage, I started exploring how Unity trained their own agents, and I realized they literally have a 2v2 soccer scene, where the agents play amazing. It didn't really help me to understand how to train agents better, but it did give me tremendous amounts of hopium though, so time to keep chugging along. One thing that I did notice is there are these team IDs. It feels like I need to configure them in the script, but just by simply setting the team IDs, it felt like the agents started behaving differently, much better than the mirrored movement attempt before. 
At this point, I thought the agents were good enough. If you watch the training footage, they actually look decent. So the next logical step is to grab the already trained machine learning models and drag them on the agents, which tells them to turn their behavior into inference mode. In this case, inference means to put the models into production, where they stop learning and start applying their knowledge in the simulation. So what was happening here? How was the training looking so good towards the end, but when I put the same models into work, they flop? Well, it turns out I am not the only one who had this issue with inference of ML agents. I couldn't really find any other big difference between my soccer training and Unity's. The only other big difference I could think of were the config files. You use these files to instruct Unity's machine learning package to train your ML agents a certain way. In a moment of desperation, I just thought what's the worst that could happen, so I decided to use the same training config file that Unity had, which actually solved the issue. After a long training session, the models were able to perform during inference mode. So what's the lesson learned? I learned that training ML agents really take a long time, and even the smallest errors will reveal itself over millions of steps. Short-term speeding incentives can and will cause issues later down the line. I guess better to use something like self-play to make the agents realize things quicker, because those short-term incentives will teach them to do incorrect behaviors. And finally, be specific about what you want to happen. For example, if you want them to kick the ball but not spam it, you can create an equation for it and reward them accordingly. Please let me know in the comments what I should train the machine learning agents to underwhelmingly attempt next. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.